update day three. Um, not moving as fast as I want to, but hopefully I'll still have it, at least the frames on today. Um, so, a height block off the, uh, by the way, that's my strong back setup. So, um, I build multiple boats, and uh, so I kind of have a little deal set up, and I just add to it on the length of the boat. But, um, the height block, my transom, um, getting ready to put the keelson on, which I have made up there. Uh, another couple height blocks to hold the keelson up, and then I have my stem. You can see center line marked, center line marked, my ever present boat building mascot eyeing me up. <clears throat> PL Premium, see my center line, center line. So I'm going to line these up, squish it into glue, and give her some screws. I don't think I went over the frames yet, how I do them. I'll put it up in place, align the lines. I've got uh, an index mark here. Took a square, made a straight line across it, so the line's on that side. And my center line is right there, lined up. Um, so I clamp it in place, get the lines all lined up, take a drill, drill this hole and this hole, and then I run the screw all the way into it on both of them. And in this case, I've done that already, back them out, and I'll drop this clamp down, and I'll take the glue, and I'll put some glue on the frame, I had the frame down here, put some glue on it, put it back up, it's already indexed because I've run the screws in it, run the screws down and we're attached and you can see this one's been done and you can see the glue squish it out and that's how I do it nice and simple since I do all this on my own this is my helper A little update on the day it's really gonna be end of day three yeah three not bad <laughs> I'm pretty happy actually um, Got my scarfs done on my uh, longitudinals, shear and chine. So uh, got the bow section shaped how I wanted it. And uh, all glued in, lagged. So we're kind of sitting just like so. So I... Uh, had framed out this frame for the flat bottom because I was going to do the flat bottom version and then last night around 2 a.m. I was like yeah I got an idea so um, so this was framed in um, all I did because it goes right there is uh, cut out an inch and a half and then I put this across the bottom to hold it at its width so I'm just going to kind of plug it into those lines right there and screw it in and uh, and that should be it. I, well, I'll have to come back and I'll make triangular floor pieces to fill all this back in. But um, I think it's coming along pretty good. Morning of day four. I did my scarfs. I sanded them off. It came out good. So I'm going to run them through my planer. Get them down to three quarter thickness because they're five quarter right now. Since I build self bows, I know that that quarter inch can make, be a major difference in its bending ability.
you could tell by the sound of the planer that it was plain in one side of that but not the other as you can see there was two different thicknesses obviously that would bend differently I mean yeah I'm splitting splitting hairs straws whatever on that but it would and when you go to do that if you do plane them make sure that your scarf joint is not facing your leading edge is not facing it's facing away so it planes over it this way and it's not able to grab that and lip it up all right there they are finished up planed scarf joint I got a little void there I'll smear some glue in there and fill it up they are all pretty much identical as much as they can be I edge plane surface planed and uh, here's the aftermath so that's where I'm at after three days starting from lumber on the trailer I cut a piece of the shear clamp shine log material off I ran a batten strip check the lines on it you can see I got a little belly in here so I'm gonna take an eighth more out of here and probably a quarter more out of this that'll keep my arc going pretty good so what I'm gonna do um, or how I get my my marks for my cutout is I just lay this in there like so keep that upper edge there so I can fare this part off of it and then I'll go in here and take a pencil and mark the inside of that piece on both sides staying up to that corner and then I'll cut it out and then it should just fit right in there. I'll do that on every one of these frames. And um, remember, that's your wall framing that is your most important fit. If you have a gap on the inside floor framing and it's tight here, it's not as critical as it is on the wall framing, in my opinion. So we'll just go through, mark all those out, move my bat and strip up and keep going and uh, cut them all out. Okay, so here's a good example. When we get to the bow section, you can see this gap right here. And obviously no gap here. I drew a line here because remember I said we want the wall frame to be our measure, not the inside frame. Is the way I do it. And um, so I want my reference point to be here so I drew a parallel line with this so when I lay the block in there now this block will be laid in like that and I will draw the inside of it that way when it's set in there I'm in a good line hopefully arcing back along the boat you see this one touches so I'll have to set back and go in some and um, in this one the gap is a bit smaller so I still will be back in around like that to get my line so that's what I was referring to is watch this don't don't go oh my god what do, how do I handle this it's simple your reference points the inside of this wall framing because this point to here gets ferret out So you have the plywood to rest on it. I got my line marked out, crossed up. Same with here, same with here. All the way back. So now it's time to, uh, now it's time to cut it out. You know, this is where being a carpenter, I had the luxury of tools that most carpenters use, you know, especially framers. So um, I'll show you how I cut this out. Maybe not. This is what I use. 
my little fine tool so I can plunge bit it my Japanese saw which is indispensable I'll use a sawzall good long bit and I'll use my jigsaw I probably will just sort of stay with that for firewood got all the cutouts done some of them are not so pretty but they're done all right so I'm laying my uh, chine log Whew. Um, side by side and then I'll go down I marked out every 16 inches just did that because I'm used to working with that number stud stud distance and all um, but what I'll end up doing with that I'll make marks on both of them all the way across and then it'll give me reference marks you can see I clamped it together made my marks so these are my reference marks and we'll see how this all works out did the whole thing all the way along there when I go to line it up with the frames no it won't won't um, be the distance of the frame but it'll be a measure and reference as long as I set one of them or set them even on both sides to start off with I should be in pretty good shape but you know you can see right there that that framing member is crooked just because of the rocker of the boat and um, and if I have a reference mark I can make make sure that if they're going to both be crooked they're at least both the same crooked but let's hope we don't go that way so now it's time to dry fit it and if it works out you can see right there I cut a little deep just thinking about catching a shark or something a little bit better on this one we'll dry fit it if it works out I'll pull it off glue it and put her back on